I am running super late and this is gonna be quick. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I did this look because I am going to hit the lakes. I love, I love using a little bit of rhinestone placement on my face because it just embodies summer and like a whole vibe of, um, you know, feeling awesome. I'm gonna try and put some videos here where you guys can see how and what we actually do when we go to the lake. We literally just sit in the lake and just, you know, have fun. Everyone keeps talking. It is so fun here in Vancouver, floating in a lake. We just have like one and a half to two months to do this because once the sun is gone, then for it to come in the next eight months, like you'd probably see the sun for like, two days in, in winter, three days, like it's so difficult. So that's why we try to make the most of summers here. Don't forget to like the video if you like looks like these. And don't forget to comment if you guys want to, I don't know, just some chit chat or whatever. Anyway, without any further ado, and also because some friends are waiting, we picked up and let's jump into this video. I already went ahead and I used a little bit of my Bobbi Brown uh, cream under my eyes. I usually obviously start with moisturizer. When I usually have sunscreen that's gonna go on top of my face, I try to go in with a lighter moisturizer because otherwise I just feel like you know too many products building up. I like using this one from Bobbi Brown which is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Usually when it comes to going to the lakes or picnics, I like these two, oof, <laughs> I like these two sunscreens. Though this one I like only on the high points because sometimes I feel like the gold is like so much in it. Everything just like leaks in the cap. But this is only because my, um, you know, it's kind of broken from somewhere here. But like, see how much is collected in the cap. It's full of sunscreen. And I'm really not liking it at the moment because I'm, I'm missing out on so much product. I don't know if you can tell, but it has separated so much. Anyway, this, what I like to do is put a little on my, you know, collarbones here. Mainly because... You know, it's nice and glowy. And this is what I do with any extra that has come out of that particular, like the glow screen. Can you see how it adds that nice sheen to the body? What I'll do is I'll just apply this mainly on the high points. So, you know, here, I like it here on all the high points. But does that happen to you, you know, where you apply sunscreen and then in like, a few minutes you start tasting like something bitter in the back of your mouth i just need to make sure that this does not go in my under eyes because i don't like the finish it leaves there i think you know the cream is enough and for the rest of my face especially around my mouth and in other certain areas where i feel like makeup might move i like to use the unseen sunscreen this is a good one i enjoy using this but again i think this is filled with silicones Oh, it's getting toasty in here. This one has a nice thin gel, like a translucent formula. So that is something I'm fond of. Both these sunscreens work well with each other. They don't like contradict each other's formulas. Usually for my neck, I like to go in with uh, the body sunscreen. So I don't use this on my face. Next is color correction. And I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown uh, color corrector. You know, I can't do without this. So I just like to place this on the sides of my cheeks here, where I have a little bit of um, pigmentation there. I'm gonna use my Vasanti corrector for under my eyes. Uh, just a little bit, goes a long way. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Something is definitely filling for me uh, under my eyes. Now I don't know what is it. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer for my face so i'm just gonna do like four tiny dots um sorry two more dots <laughs> and one here and using this brush i'll just like blend it all over my face it just makes it so much more faster to blend it with this brush i just like to dot everything and then just like spread it everywhere so unfortunately, all the corrector from my under eye is spilling for some reason. And I'm guessing, honestly, I don't know why, because I have done this before, but it is what it is. So I am now just going ahead with a little bit of concealer, placing this 
under my eyes wherever I want it. I'll just spread this like how I usually do. You know, with my finger, I'm just like putting on a thin layer all over. And I'll just let it sit there for a while. It's not like a makeup break for me. It's completely fine sometimes if, uh, you know, makeup does not sit properly on my face. There are times where I just completely remove everything and do everything all over again. But there have also been times when, you know, I don't create much of a fuss. Like, if it happened, it happened. Just like, let it go and, you know, move on. In the meanwhile, when we'd gone to LA, I had bought this LA Luz, um bronzer. Quick review here. The packaging feels kind of a little uh, cheap. But the product itself is very nice. It's like a creamy bronzer, little stick. This is in the shade Yummy Natural. Here I'm just using the ends. We'll put some on the sides of our brows here also. And some along the, along the hairline. And a little bit across the jaw just for some light defining. And I'll just go with a little bit on my eyes too. Just for like that bronzy um, transition color. So I'm just taking that same brush and I'm just uh, blending it into the hairline. Always remember to take it into the hairline. I don't like to bring my bronzer too much in the front because I, it's not like I have a very large forehead. And I'll also give it a quick blend here. I'm just going to use a brush like this. This just makes it easier to blend honestly. That one's like to... Um, narrow. This just gives like a nice healthy bronzy glow. I'm using the same brush to even go over my eyes. It just lightly defines the eye socket and you know your nose just elongates it a bit. I'm just blending away the concealer a bit. Just with a light amount on my hand I just want to clean up any extra bronzer that I might have put on. That's pretty simple. I'm just pulling this this way. Regardless, I am going to set my face, especially because, you know, it's going to be hot outside. If I don't set, it is going to crease. And usually, you know, we are out for about six hours or something. And just in my T-zone. For blush, I'm only going to use the Rare Beauty one. I've been using this blush for like a couple of my last videos now because it is so good. It just blends so quick and the color payoff is crazy good you can see how i have some extra here which i'm just gonna tap away with my fingers and then i'll just go ahead and continue applying blend it a little bit with your bronzer that was there because you just want like you know that pink glow kind of like all over your face to make it look a little sun-kissed next our brows and I'm just using my Anastasia pencil, brushing that away and I'll just use a little brow gel because it just kind of holds everything in place. Now comes the part where I've been absolutely loving doing this. I have this MAC Gingerly um, blush and I love, love <laughs> to take this into my eye socket. It just adds such a nice amount of pink and just makes like the whole look pull itself together in one go. Honestly, you can do this look even uh, for anything else, even errands or... Okay, but errands, I have an errands video if you haven't watched it. I'm going to link it up here. A look like this can also be done for office. I have another office look, <laughs> which I can link here go under your eyes as well with the same color i'm gonna go in the same blush shade tap off any excess and i'll just intensify my blush a little bit this just gives the blush a little more staying power and also some added intensity i really like my blush to pop uh, especially <laughs> when i go out for these things but you can obviously cut down on extra blush if you don't like it too much. It's the first thing it comes off because you kind of you're gonna be wiping your face and stuff. That's why I like to kind of go in with a little extra infinite sand pencil just on my lower waterline of both the eyes. Oops. I'm gonna 
take a little bit of this Makeup Forever powder and I'll just skim it all over the areas that I want to set. By the way, you can even take a little bit of this and go over your blush if you felt like you went with extra blush. This gives a little more coverage and it even mattifies your makeup a tiny bit. I'll use a little of this gold pencil just in my outer corner just to add like a tiny blended wing which I'll do on both sides and I'll use a brush to quickly blend it out just a tiny bit it just gives the eyes like the tiniest bit of shape waterproof mascara and this is a lash color and I'll just look down and just place this. Be sure to not stab your eye. A little bit of this Love Tint from Benefit Cosmetics. So great for the popsicle lips. I've done two videos on the popsicle lips. So I'll just post it here one after the other. Place this all over. It looks a little ridiculous right now. <laughs> I look like a clown. But with this, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to stain my lips walls. I'm going to use this Merit Lip Oil, which is usually what I take when I go to the lakes and stuff because it not only keeps your lips hydrated, but it has like that slight color. Next are these stones from the Zara Sticker Palette. I've done a look on this, which I'll link up here. Wow, I have so many links today. I really like that. <laughs> Initially, I only wanted to put the stones here after my brow, but uh, you know, that little bit of under eye creasing is happening. Maybe I'll just go in with the, the regular silver. So I place two of them here. So I place the pink after my arch, a light pink, and I'll paste it right next to it. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just use a little highlighter in my inner corners and the tiniest, tiniest bit of lip liner just to shape the lips. This is the finished look for today. I am actually gonna go ahead to the lakes right now. Usually for me, I don't top up my sunscreen because I'm literally with an umbrella the entire time. And this is only because of my skin condition. A quick reminder for you to like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps me and it helps the whole algorithm. <laughs> so take care you all, see you soon. And I hope you all have an amazing summer. Bye-bye, ciao.